Emergency funds are dumb. So, what's up with this emergency fund thing? So many suggestions, so many recommendations, but the general idea that we all keep hearing is that the emergency fund is three to six months of your regular expenses. Yes, literally one sentence. If this is such a simple concept, why are there all these articles, videos, and podcasts about it? Well, because apparently a lot of people still don't get what the emergency fund really is and what it is really for. First of all, an emergency fund is just another nickname for the money that you actually have on hand, which you can use in case something unpredictable happens. But the life itself is unpredictable by default. So what do you do? You do your best to build wealth. That's what you do. You start learning about budgeting, saving and investing. These are the only tools that will help you put an end to your financial emergencies and will turn them into just minor inconveniences. You need to understand that your emergency fund is a buffer. On one side of that buffer is your comfort and happiness. And on the other side, it's your discomfort and pain. And the smaller that buffer gets, the closer you are to get into trouble. If your emergency fund is $100, then you are $100 away from being in trouble. But if it's a million dollars, then you are so much further away from any financial issues. That's assuming that your trouble is the same in both situations since if you're in a billion dollars trouble for example then you are in a huge trouble no matter what in other words your emergency fund should be as large as possible based on how big of a trouble do you think you can get into that's why it's recommended to save at least three to six months of your expenses because that's an average time it takes to find a new job this means that you estimate the amount of money you would need to avoid the trouble of being hungry and homeless and with three months worth of expenses you will start losing your sleep much sooner than with six months worth of expenses. Look at your savings right this moment and ask yourself, will I be able to keep my current lifestyle if I don't have any income starting today? If not, then start saving immediately. So is three months of expenses enough? Or should it be six months? Or maybe 12? 36 months worth of expenses should be more than enough, right? But with 72 months, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, damn it. The most important thing to remember about the emergency fund is that this is your freedom. This is your freedom to make choices and just keep doing whatever you're doing without getting any more gray hairs. If you have an emergency fund, you're ready. You are ready for whatever is coming. You don't like the view from your window at work? you can quit because now you can afford to free some time to find a better job does your car suddenly needs an expensive repair you can pay for it and move on without any drama any unexpected medical bills no problem you have planned for it your emergency fund should be as large as you decided to be but definitely at least six months of your regular monthly expenses and this doesn't mean that once you have saved and set aside that amount you're like I'm done, now back to squandering. No, 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 not at all. You keep doing what you were doing and since you have that set amount aside, you can now look into investing. As you may have noticed by this point, the emergency fund is not something special or complicated. Emergency fund is your savings, your cash under your mattress, your savings, 401k, IRA, your stocks, real estate and collectibles can all be considered an emergency fund since these are all funds that you will be using when you don't have a business or a job. The only difference is again that your emergency fund should not be fully invested or converted into any sort of property like a car or a house. Your emergency fund should be liquid so when you need it you can have cash on hand in a matter of hours. Your starting point for an emergency fund should be at least six months of expenses but ultimate goal should be the amount that will be sufficient for you to not depend on the job for multiple years don't just save for six or even 12 months worth of expenses and then buy things you don't need 
keep growing your financial nest so you have a choice how to live your own life. By the way, first important thing to remember about an emergency fund is that it's not a credit line of your credit card. An emergency fund is the money that you actually have. Avoid using a credit card for emergency situations since if you can't cover that balance in one month, that emergency situation will keep increasing at the APR rate of that credit card. Bad idea. Another important thing to consider is in case you have a big loan and you're considering if you should pay off the loan or start an emergency fund. It all depends on the amount of that loan and its interest rate. I would say that if the loan term is under three years and the interest is over five percent, it makes more sense to put the money towards that loan that set in cash aside. But it all really depends on the personal situation. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the emergency fund concept? Do you have one? How did you manage to accumulate was it hard? Oh, and what are your rules on how much money should be in an emergency fund? Make sure to smash the like button if you got inspired to rock your emergency fund and subscribe for more rocking finance. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.